All right, Lady, what is this? I'm micro-stepping mm. with the ST spin. That's this little chip here. This is an ST micro stepper driver with like the kind of standard step and direction um, interface. What's interesting about this is, you know, we did the A49800. We did also 4988. We also did the TMC2209, which is this one. I don't know if you can see the text. Maybe, yeah, it's over here. TMC2209. That's actually really popular. This one can do lower voltages. Um, you know, it might be also a little less expensive. So I wanted to check it out. One thing that's interesting about it is um, it can actually handle, even though it doesn't have more than like four internet uh, I opens, it can do um, up to 256 micro steps. And it does that by like the modes when you reset it and take it out of reset, determine the micro step. So because of that, I ended up writing a library because like keeping track, because like this is, it's like, you notice it's not even in like the right order. It's like mode one, then mode two, and then mode three. It's like, like this is really confusing guys. Like why do you put three, four, one, and then two? Yeah, don't do that. Mm. Maybe put them in order. Anyway, so we wrote a little library to, you know, handle the micro-stepping settings and stuff. And I made it sort of compatible to the Arduino stepper um, driver. And so you can do, you know, you can set it and then set the speed and then you just do steps. So it's, it's not asynchronous, but, you know, you could set this up to be asynchronous if you want. Right now I'm just testing that I get all the modes by, like, stepping the number of micro-steps times the number of steps per rotation. You should rotate once each direction for each mode. And like, that's when I figured out that I had some of the modes wrong. Um, so I did this library with Claude code using the new um, version four. Off the press. Right, right off the press, yeah. Cause I go, I want to do this anyways. Um, I kind of liked it. I mean, I didn't notice a huge difference between it and 3.7, but I do like that it's definitely doing like these little checklists more often. I noticed mm. that it's kind of keeping it like it, they might need things line. just to keep it going off the guardrails. Like if it's self-checking, but it goes off in the wrong direction just a little bit in the beginning. It might need to be once in a while. It's like, what road am I on? Yeah. So what, what I do exit is... What exit I supposed to get off of? So like, you know, I have <laughs> I have Claude running like over here and then I have the data sheet. So I yeah. can like, you know, because it says... And this is, it's, it's, by the way... Folks, it's like, it's confused. These are touch screens. Lady Ada uses... They don't even, they don't even work, She right? uses minority report style. Yeah. Computing. It doesn't... I don't know. Yeah. I, I'll figure out eventually, but... Um, you know, like for example, like realize, you know, once you get to 256 micro steps, you have to like do a lot more yeah. type verification because the default stepper driver for Arduino, like I wanted to kind of mimic the, um, the same function prototypes, but it turns out like they were using in 16s and you can't use in 16s because like 256 mm -hmm. micro steps, suddenly your numbers get quite big, um, when you're doing like one revolutions worth of steps. So um, but so far, this is good. And this, um, the driver looks nice. And, you know, I, I think this is a nice little breakout for this chip. So I'm going to, now that I know everything's working, I'm going to book the PCBs. Alrighty. Good. Step in. Duh. Boop. Boop. Don't step. Do step. Don't step. Step, step. Step a lot. <laughs>